<laughs> see all the crap in the in the background of my place. Yeah. Like, yeah, all the sports memorabilia get ready. Yeah, there's like <laughs> just junk. There's like a random hockey stick over here. <laughs> there's like, yeah. My, you just got to prove your Canadianness, right? What's that? You just got to prove how Canadian you are, right? No, this is just, <laughs> this is actually like what is here in my kitchen. Oh, what's um, in the back of your head? Oh, I went, I was at a, um, sorry, I was at a uh, charity event last night for World Cancer Day. Oh, okay. The event's called no hair selfie so i didn't yeah, I, I, I didn't shave my head yeah. which many people there did yeah. but i got the initials um nsh in the back of my head i forgot how uh big they are and i forgot yeah. that i have them there and i'm going <laughs> i'm hosting another charity event tonight and i'm sure i'll be asked about it so yeah, I have to, all like, the time yeah <laughs> keep it or if i just i don't know shave it <laughs> all right uh, i'm just gonna double check if we're ready to roll all right, so you guys can record, you guys can record Skype conversations. Yeah, that's why I said it's incredible. Even I was surprised. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Hold on one sec. I just gotta just send one text and yep. then and then I'm good. All right. Hold on. Boom. Um. I'm just gonna go run a brush through my head. Hold on one second. Yep. Damn, I didn't even get to do that too. <laughs> you said he was in his kitchen. Yeah, but I didn't, okay. I didn't bring my brush. <laughs> I don't, oh, there you are. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Matt, we good? Yeah, you're good. All right, so Cabby, uh, yes. Sunday is the Super Bowl. Yes. Um, what is What should Canadians be looking for for this particular Super Bowl? Oof. Um, probably a great defensive game. I mean, both defenses are pretty highly rated. Um, a lot of entertainment. You know, the Panthers are a very entertaining team. Von Miller is a very entertaining player. I'm sure he'll, if he sacks Cam, there'll be some air humping going on. <laughs> uh, and Beyonce at halftime. That'll be legit. Yeah, not Coldplay? <laughs> I mean, Coldplay's cool. Yeah. I mean... And I know they'll do they'll p perform the song with Beyonce. Kobe. I can't remember what it's called, but I yeah. saw the video recently. But Beyonce, I mean, she was. I want to say it was the 2012. 13. Super Bowl. I just checked. It was 13. Oh, it was 13. Was yeah. the Ravens and Niners, right? And Niners, yes, yes. Yeah, she murdered the stage. So yes, I, yes. I'm sure there'll be some of that uh, that level of uh, performance and production in that All show. Right. <laughs> All right. So I mean, this this is a. Uh, this the Super Bowl has Cam Newton and the legacy of Peyton Manning. Um, in terms of this NFL season, Cam Newton has been dabbing on everybody and and uh, all these all this nonsense about him uh, not respecting other teams. Uh, what do you what do you think this Super Bowl can show to uh, to viewers about Cam Newton? Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess judging on the outcome. He'll be either viewed as like a leader and a champion, or uh, I guess like the, for the people that don't like Cam Newton, mm -hmm. they'll be like, "Yeah, see, I I told you so." It's like uh, the bad sportsmanship. It's like it's it like it serves him right in the same way that Ronda Rousey has yeah. like terrible sportsmanship inside the octagon, doesn't shake opponents' hands, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. When Holly Holm knocked her out then people were like, yeah, you know, it serves her right. It's mm -hmm. it's kind of that sort of thing. I think Cam Newton is an unbelievable quarterback, and yeah. any field that he steps on, he's the best athlete on the field that we've never seen an athlete like that. Like, his size, like, he's bigger than a lot of defensive players. players the guy's 6'5", yeah. and he yeah. runs like the wind. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, you know, when people talk about, like, respecting the game and that sort of thing, it's not yeah. – I don't think it's a lack of respect to any game. It's just a mm -hmm. style preference. Mm -hmm. Like some people are more exuberant than others. I heard Cam say with Michael Strahan, he goes, I've worked too damn hard not to be able to celebrate. Something yeah. to that regard. And the old school types that don't want people players to celebrate or show any kind of emotion or personality, I get it, but that's just a style preference. That doesn't mean he's disrespecting the game. That's just what some people like as far as how, how exuberant they are. So um, this is Black History Month, and um, Cam Newton is the face of 
one of the faces of this particular Super Bowl. Do you think this has anything to do with it, unfortunately his race, or just do you think it's just his play? Um, well, Black History Month aside, I think with mm. Cam Newton, like race is always a factor. Yeah. Um, you know, because like, as Dan Levitard says, like the, like the worst kind of athlete in America, as far as perception goes, yeah. is the arrogant black athlete because those mm -hmm. it's like there's a there's a different standard of what's acceptable. I mean, Rob Gronkowski was just dry humping yeah. uh Julie Stewart Binks yesterday or the day before. Yeah. And he has a he has a like a book that came out saying like he cooks naked at his place at like two AM. Like there's no black player that can get away with that. Yeah. As yeah. far as the media goes. But Rob Gronkowski, you know, he can and so there's a legitimate question to be asked is why can he get away with it yeah. and others can't. So uh, with Cam, unfortunately, race is part of the conversation with him. And it should just be about his accolades and his ability on the field, but it's not. So how do you think Cam can change people's minds in, in, with this particular game or this, this uh, event? I don't know if he'll ever change anybody's mind. Okay. Like if he, if he has an unbelievable performance, some of the people see, but if he, I was going to say, if he has an unbelievable performance, maybe he'll change some people's minds, yeah. but then he'll just be even more exuberant in his celebrations, yeah. dabbing and, you know, opening his chest yeah, to, yeah. to reveal the Superman logo when he scores touchdowns. So I don't know if he ever will like, and that's okay with him. Like, yeah. I don't think he cares. He just cares about winning and leading his team to victory. And the people who dislike him, yeah. We'll probably always dislike Cam. I mean, look, the guy, I, I'm not sure about this, but I think, I'm not sure about this, but I know that when he gives footballs yeah. to, to young kids after every touchdown he scores, I think there's a fine. I don't know what the, what the, the numerical, um, what the number is for the fine, but I think there's a fine, but he doesn't care. He's like making like that, that is the highlight of that kid's year getting yeah. a football. Cam Newton and he does it every single game multiple times and that's not part of his you know the the popular storyline unfortunately with Cam Newton but that should be right there front and center he's a great dude definitely all right so moving on to another legacy in this game uh it is Peyton Manning he's near the end of his career first of all do you think what do you think uh he'll do after this game win or lose I mean he's going to be asked about it 7,000 times. So he's going to be yeah. answering that question a bunch yeah. of times. Um, me personally, you'll probably, I think you'll probably, it depends on the outcome of the game. Yeah. If he loses and he falls one to three, one and three in the suit, uh, maybe win or lose, he'll retire. My, yeah. that, like, he'll, he'll take some time to think it over. Obviously, got to talk to his wife and see how his body feels, but he'll probably retire. So, Granted, I've never, I say this. And I've never correctly predicted the outcome of anything in life. Yeah, yeah. So if I say he'll retire, the dude will be back in 2016. You know, <laughs> Made with the, LA. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, with that uh, as well, um, what do you think his legacy will be uh, if he wins? One of the greatest, if not yeah. like, he's he's either one or one A. I mean. Yeah, he's one or one a greatest quarterback of all time. Okay. You know, that's until Aaron Rodgers wins a couple. But I think Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback ever. Oh, but wow. I think Peyton Manning will be viewed as the greatest. I mean, the guy calls his own plays. Yeah. And the guy has every record, passing record imaginable. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's between him and Tom Brady right now. And, so that's his, oh, sorry. No, so I'm just saying that's his legacy. Okay. Um, so... We have one of the elder statesmen in the game, and we have a very young player coming to his own in this game. Depending on which team wins, what do you think this will do for both quarterbacks? Hmm. I guess build their legacy. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll establish Cam Newton as one of the greatest winner, winners ever if he wins. He's a Heisman Trophy winner. He's... Uh, Heisman Trophy winner that's won a national championship. This year is probably going to be the MVP. 
and then he'll be a Super Bowl champion and possibly the MVP of the Super Bowl. Like that's all that that's unprecedented. And he's a number one pick. Yeah. As far as Peyton Manning goes, if he wins, his legacy would be like, yeah, people will probably call him the greatest. I mean, even and like to win at 38 or 39, I can't remember his age, yeah. you know, have his neck infused and he doesn't, he doesn't have feeling in his, the fingertips on his throwing hand. Like he'll, He'll finally have uh, two. He'll finally be equal to Eli as far as Super Bowls go. But <laughs> probably, like right after the game, he'll go down. People will be like, "He's the greatest." Yeah. But the, he's uh, he's already in the conversation with Tom Brady, so it will just solidify his position. And we have to say that we have to ask you this. But what is your prediction of this game? I don't have one. Uh, the prediction <laughs> of this game is I'm going to gain eight pounds. Are you going to sorry? I'm going to gain eight pounds eating nachos, wings, <laughs> french fries, and tacos. I will be the world's fattest man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> on, at about by 11.57 p.m. on uh, Sunday, February the 7th. That is my prediction. No, I think it will be okay. You got, you got your athlete friends to, to help you out with that. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be, yeah, they're not going to be eating as much as me, but I'm still going to be disgusted. <laughs> yeah. But no predictions at all? You're not going to go one nah, way or the other? I, again, I, I think I'm 0-900 as far as <laughs> correctly predicting the outcome of any game. Okay, so yeah. I would just be 0-901 at this point. <laughs> all right. Uh, anything else to add? No, man. This was fun. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Right, uh, have a good day, Always man. good talking to you, Lloyd. Definitely. Definitely, man. Good luck with everything. Thank you, sir. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> no dab? <laughs> Nah, the dab's dead, man. Once Hillary Clinton did it, it died. <laughs> I mean, Cam will still dab. Yeah. And I'm sure Migos will come up with something new in like three or four months that people will do next season. But yeah, the dab's dead. Dab's dead. All right. All right, man. Have a good okay, one, all right? You. Thank See you so much. You. No problem. Thank you. See ya. See ya. <laughs> all right. <laughs>